music was given and is being given to me as a healing modality, if you will. That was the inception of it. My thoughts were to be the antithesis of the negativity that's out there and bring the light of the course into the musical world. Yeah, we're always free. Each song is, you know, designed for block release and it's all spontaneous transformation, if you will. So when I'm playing it, I'm, you know, hoping to be out of the way and letting that through the original ideas that came through. But I don't get it. You've been with the Holy Spirit for, let's say, 30 years as an artist performing. Mm -hmm. There's the Holy Spirit and there's the ego. Okay. How do you balance the two when you're up on stage, when you're performing, when people are clamoring after you? Practice of the holy instant. I don't see any difference and I just leave it up to Christ to keep me out of my ego as best as I'm allowing. So I don't really look at it as two things, like a, I don't think about it. It's much more let the work and the practice and all the healing work I've done, all the meditation I've done, let it work for me so that I can, just like I started the concert with, get out of your own way. Don't get in your love's way, right? That's the whole point of everything. Come on. So I don't really see it as ego or Holy Spirit. Everything is the Holy Spirit. Once we allow that transformation to happen, and the music was given to me to train my mind to allow that transformation to happen on the go, as we're walking, you know? So it's not about, it's about, you know, applying, application of the course, right? So we're applying it, and if the ego slips in there, ego slips in there. You can't, you can't, you know, you can't worry too much about that. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Love you too. A lot of the music is about that, you know, being out of the way, drawing a blank, no thoughts required. And uh, so, we're, like I said yesterday, the real Christ has been giving me the, the point of this is to induce the mind to give up its miscreations, you know, to enter the holy instant, you know, and be right-minded and allow that transformation to happen. So that's the everything. <laughs> I teach sports a lot all my life. I've always been a teacher. So I help people free themselves through sports. That was the beginning of my training, windsurfing instruction, skiing instruction. And so then it turned into metaphysics. It just turned into teaching people how to listen for their guidance, teaching people how to listen for their, to feel their feelings and not think. That's been the main that's what Christ has been mainly working with me on all my life, is drawing a blank so that God can fill up that empty void. So you stay in the void. Of course you want to access the void when you're on stage because it's going to bring more light through, right? And we saw a miracle, many miracles today. When you started performing, it was, it was sunny. Suddenly, you, as in your first song, you brought the clouds on. There was thunder at the end of the first number. Get out of the way. And then there was rain. And we were so mesmerized, we couldn't even go to our tents and zip our tents up. So thanks to you, we're going to be sleeping in wet tents. And then you kept singing and the light shone through and then again. I'm getting a lot of credit for stuff I had nothing to do with, but it's okay. I'll go with it. Yeah.